Let's take a look at a two-part analysis question together. Remember that in two-part analysis questions, you're going to be selecting an answer for two different components of a particular problem, and it will be evidenced by two columns, in this case one for team A and one for team B, and then the answer choice is to the right of, that column, of those columns. Next, two-part analysis questions can test you on both math, quantitative, and verbal skills. Last, just because the answer choices are possible, the same answer choices are possible for both team A and team B, it doesn't mean they have to be different answer choices for each column. It is totally possible that the same answer choice will be used for both columns. Let's take a look at this particular example now. The first thing we've got to do is break down the information we're given. Here we're told about this actuarial, these two actuarial teams. And team A can complete a large project in the same time it takes to complete two small projects. So two small projects, that's one, the same as one large project for team A. Team B, in the same amount of time, can only complete one small project. And in twice that time can complete one large project. So we have the connection we're looking for. Which team is faster, Team A or Team B, and by how much? Team A is faster because it can do a large project, and Team B can do that same large project in twice the time. So that's the connection we're looking for. Team A is tw two times as fast as Team B. Now let's look at the next piece of information, or the question, if you will. We want to find the possible combinations of projects that could be completed in 10 days if Team A can complete a large project in one day. So for Team A, it takes one day to do a large project and half a day to do a small project since Team A can do two small projects in the same time as it takes to do one large project. For Team B, they can do one small project in a day and to do a large project would take twice as long as Team A and since Team A can do a large project in one day, Team B would take two days to do a large product, project. Now that we've got that broken down, we're looking for which answer choice for Team A and which answer choice for Team B would take 10 days. So let's go through the answer choices and break them down for both Team A and Team B, starting with four large projects. Since Team A can do a large project in one day and Team B can do a large project in two days, it would take four days for Team A and eight days for Team B. Remember, we're looking for 10 as the goal. Five large projects would take Team A five days and Team B 10 days. Here it is. We've got our first answer. We know Team B is going to be 10 days at five large projects. So let's mark that right now. Let's go to the next one now. Two large and four small projects. For Team A, the two large projects would take two days, and the four small projects, each at a half a day apiece, four half days would be two more days. That would be four days, and Team B would be twice that at eight days. Two large and five small projects, Team A would take two days for the two large, and for the five small projects at half a day apiece, that's another two and a half days, for a total of four and a half days for Team A. Team B is just double that number, nine. Last, or next, five large projects and 10 small projects. The five large projects will take Team A five days, and the 10 small projects will take Team A half a day apiece for 10, is five more days, that's 10 days. And Team B would be twice that at 20 days. At this point, we can see our final answer has to be, for Team A, five large products, projects and ten small projects. When working with these table analysis questions, two big points come up. One, you've got to get the gist of the given information. It's so important to get that information and understand and find the connection that relates the two columns. In this case, the big key was that Team A worked twice as quickly as Team B. Once we've got that connection, we want to then use our answer choices to help us solve like we did in our previous problem. And one last thing, 
as you're working through and you're checking your final answers, always double check that you put the right answer in the right column. In this case, in this case, we want to make sure that when we solved it, we put team A, the, the answer for team A, when team A hit 10 days, and the answer for team B, when team B hits 10 days. When you start to be accurate in terms of getting the connection between the two columns and the information they give you between that relates the two columns, and you stay on top of and be clear as to which answer goes into which column, you're going to start seeing your accuracy increase in these multi-source reasoning questions.